guys and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am Astrath and I welcome you to this. PlayStation Presents Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. A classic, not so classic game. From a long time ago actually. Yeah. Okay, so I did a Let's Play of... Well, wait, before I talk about that. First off, you can only play... English or German? To you poor Spanish, French, and Italian speakers, you can't play this game. Guys, like me back in 1945. Alright, so, let's do this! Okay, so this game was made a long time ago, over 15 years ago. And a lot of people hate it. I'm, I'm okay with it. It's sort of crap, but, you know, it's sort of good. Made by acclaimed sports, the... Inventor of uh, quite a few crappy games, alongside LJN, alongside this company. Yeah, Osiris Studios. Definitely not the wristband thing in the Mummy Returns. Oh yeah, HBO Sports presents a huge long ass cutscene. Which I'm probably going to be talking all the way through. Because it'll probably be boring if I don't. George Foreman! HBO Boxing! Punching happening! And Roy Jones Jr. as well. And generic... Rap from the 90s! Because it's funny. KO Nation, Speed Bag, Heart, and Soul, Punching, Heavy Bag, More Heavy Bag, Boxing After Dark, the guy on the left is getting his ass kicked, uh, Ducking and Weave Training, Heart, again, Flashing on Screen, Jump Rope Training, Man with Bleach Blonde Hair, World Championship Boxing, more punching, heart and soul again. Heart and why is it with heart and soul just being everywhere? TVKO, pay-per-view, punched in the face. Heart and soul again, randomly flashing for no reason. What the hell? Anyway, welcome to the loading screen. Also, welcome to Let's Play HBO Boxing, game made in 2000 by Acclaim Sports and Osiris Studios for the Sony PlayStation. Alright, so I got this game a long time ago, and um, a lot of people probably prefer things like Ray Rumble Boxing. I actually prefer this game. It, uh, it's just something about customization that just makes me go crazy about a, video, about a video game. And this one does have one, in fact, in the career mode. So, let's start a career, and let's make a new fighter. This fighter is going to be the greatest fighter in the world. Uh, my difficulty, I'm going to stick with amateur level for the moment. And now we get to create a fighter. Now, creative characters back in, like, the, uh, the turn of the millennium, they weren't very common. So, you know, I mean, Radio Rumble Boxing didn't have them, for example. And uh, uh, a few other boxing games have got Victory Boxing Contender. Oh, I'm probably going to get around to playing that at some point. But yeah, um... Yeah, no, uh, no create character mode, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to go. Anyway, so first off, we can create the character's face. We can have different heritage is, that'll do for the moment. It's going to be generic white male. Right, his weight class. We have three weight class to choose from, either heavyweight, middleweight, or lightweight. Uh, each weight class has, um, specific different fighters. We are going to go for the heavyweight class. Now we can choose our height. Our lowest height we can be is, I believe, five foot nine. Yep. So our lowest is five foot nine. Our tallest is six foot eight. That's a lot. Let's make him five. I'm gonna make him a midget. No, let's make him a fat midget. Five foot eight, two hundred eighty pounds, fat midget. And, you know what, let's make him ripped for no reason. 
All right, now it's time for his style of play. Aggressive, unorthodox, boxer. I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a slugger, in fact, because sluggers dish out heavy blows and kick the crap out of everything, so yeah. Handness, I'm going to go left-handed because I am left-handed. This, this isn't going to be me, by the way. I'm not 5'10", like, nearly 300 pounds of pure ripped muscle. I'm about 5'5", five five and about 100 and... 54 pounds of mostly water. Anyway, so let's give him a hair type. What is he going to have? This is an option. All right, let's go for that. Hair, actually, let's go hair color first. So, oh no, facial hair, wrong one. All right, just so I can actually see the styles. So we got sort of flat top, afro, basic, I guess. Uh, again, basic. Mohawk! Ma basic. Flat top again. Basic. Flat top afro. That's about it, really. Let's go with the mohawk, because everyone likes mohawk. And we can have ourselves a moustache if we need it. We can also change the color. We can make him blue. Or purple. Alright, he's going to be... He's going to have that... Okay, let's, have, let's give him that color hair. His facial hair is going to be... Do you, do you, since it is November 2nd, I'm recording this. November 2nd, 2014. Let's give him a mustache to help out with Movember. He's doing Movember at the moment. All right, gloves. Now, I'm going to go for a specific glove set, so we're going to go for that. Uh, trunks. There's no real difference to doing this or no reason for doing this, but, you know, it's like, why not? It's fun, so why not? Oh, you can even have the Rocky shorts. Where are they? There they are. Well, sort of Rocky shorts, the ones he got from Apollo. We can go for that if we want to. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to go for the basic. And shoes. Hmm. Let us give him that. There you go, so basic fighter. His first name is Ed. Oh, yes. His last name is Ed. No, it's not. It's Eddington. His name is Ed. With a Q for some reason. Come on, Mavstrap, get it together. It's supposed to be an O. Ed Eddington. Fearless Ed Eddington. Doesn't sound right. Let's try something else. What do we got? Okay, so here's a nickname for it. Punchy, King, whatever. King Ed Eddington. I got the exact one I want to use, which is... Where are you? I'm looking for a... There you go. Dynamo Ed Eddington. Also, Dynamo Ed. He is from... I don't know how to say that. Hold on. Yeah, I was right. Okay. So, he is from... No. Oh, bloody Q getting in the way. That's what you get when you can't see anything. Right, he is from Edmonton. State Providence. Big surprise. He's from Alberta. Making him... Canadian. Alright, so I'm going to have Dynamo Ed. Ed Eddington from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Because Ed is great. Let's go! Alright, special. These are pretty much your moveset. I'm going to keep that as it is because it works well for me, the basic moveset. Right, fighter attributes. Let's boost everything! Because you're supposed to. Apart from foul. I'm not going to bother raising foul because there's no point in raising something that I'm not, never going to use. So all these other specific stats. Uh, strength is your uh, how much damage you do with a hit. Uh, stamina is your health. Invincibility, if you are controlling a fight a lot, you can get invincibility, which means you can't get hit. Which you can't get damage for a hit. You do have a health bar. Uh, knockdown self is the chance to be able to knock someone down. Knockout self is how you can knock down, or how well you can knock down your opponent. 
Um, injure self is your resistance to getting injured. Injure opponent is your resistance, or is your opponent, is your, your way of getting your opponent to get injured. Fouls is obviously fouling your defenses. Uh, I believe, like, limits the amount of damage you take when you block. <laughs> Who blocks? And I might as well increase these too. These are my attributes, so I'm going to go for the jab, the straight, pretty much everything apart from the special and the trademark. I don't use special or trademarks. I do use the rest of them, though, because the rest of them are amazing. You know, just go straight all out, punch everything in the face. So, Dynamo Ed Eddington at 5'9", and at, like, nearly 300 pounds of pure Ed power, he is going to be the greatest boxer in the world. Rocky Marciano, eat your heart out. And lastly, management. So, your management can influence loads of different things. Um, your cut man, uh, at the end of each round, if you do have a, uh, a pro like, a problem, like a cut over your eye or something. Uh, the better your cut man, the more chance you have of uh, the wound being sorted before the next round. Uh, your trainer, you can train your character and give him even, be and give him even better stats. Uh, the better your trainer, the more efficient your training is. Last off is your manager. The better your manager is, the more money you get from fights. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick off with I'm, I'm going to increase my management, to be honest, because that's probably my best bet. So I'm going to bring in Mr. Money. Let's start my career, finally, after nearly being halfway through the bloody thing. Anyway, so, we are obviously at the bottom. You can see we are ranked number 37, I believe. And our first opponent is Mr. Pete Debers. Let's get set a date for a four-round event. Thank you, Manny Lopez. All right, so... Uh, we have pretty much seven days to determine lots of stuff. Hmm. It's all about what I want to do first here. This is my training camp, so I've got lots of choices, um, including I can even increase the power of my moves, which is great. Um, hmm. What do I want to do first? Well... Or stamina... Da -da 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 -da. That's the problem, it could be any of these things that I could do first. Uh, with stamina, it lowers when I use strength. But I can just do that instead, and then up defense last. Alright, what I'm going to do first is... I'm going to... Oh, that's tough, that's tough. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go sparring and I'm going to increase... My stamina first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my stamina, get me some power, and then after that I'm going to increase cut opponent after that because I want to do some damage. Anyway, it is now time for our first boxing match, finally. i got to try and remember how to do my moves as well. It's been a long time since i played this, and I've been wanting to let's play this for a good year or so. Anyway. It, it's PlayStation, so long loading screens! Come on! Yeah! Alright, so our first match, Ed Eddington from Edmonton, Alberta. He's making his debut! Yay! Cheer to no crowd whatsoever. Great idea, Ed. And his opponent, Pete Debers. Four wins. Five losses from South Africa. Oh god, he's got the Tyson movement going. That's not very nice. Bring it! Battle time! Alright. I gotta remember how to do moves. Alright. So pressing the R1 button changes what fist you use to attack. Whee! Uppercut in. And you can press certain buttons. Um, uh, the triangle does um, just a basic sort of cross or hook or whatever. Left and right sort of do the same, well, if you press a uh, circle, circle, square and triangle together, you do a power punch like that, sadly blocked it, let's try again, damn it, which sends them back, bingo, there you go, so that sends them back, it does a lot of damage, and already as you can see, his health is looking very low, and there's the invincibility, oh, and the referee's caution off the match, and he got a gashed cheek at the end of the match. 
I'm guessing that's the reason the match was stopped. Stopped 42 seconds in round one. The winner by TKO, Ed Eddington. All right, so uh, yeah, overall punches, he threw just 15. I threw quite a lot, actually. <laughs> I threw 56 punches. So you see, power, power, power play. Uh, but just in case, stammer's probably a good thing to increase first for me. For, for my character, at least. So now that my management is actually quite good, it should be able to, it should allow us to... Yeah, we got a fair amount of money for that, so uh, yeah. 850, good start. Let's, let's move on to our next match. Pete Debus has been defeated. So next up, not Gabriel Marquez, because they don't want to face us. Fine. By Gavin Wils Welch. Gavin Welch, nope. Shaw Ming. All right, Shaw Ming. Four rounds. Let's see what we can do here. Right, I'm going to kick off with sparring. As you can see, with the sparring... Yeah, he's going to he's gonna backflip with... Uh, with gloves on. Of course, that's humanly possible. Alright, so with the current training I'm doing, my stamina is going up by a lot, but my cut opponent goes down. Uh, which is not so good, but as I said, I'd much rather have a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of health. Health is useful, so. Health is very useful. So, as long as that can keep going up, we're good. Oh, right, next. So as you can see, our health has already rocketed quite a lot. It's up to 240, like 40, what, 3, 6, something like that? 243, I think. So 243, not too bad at the moment. We are going into our second match. We're against Shaw Ming, who's a lot higher than we are. I think he's something like rank number 32. And we're down at rank 36. Poor Pete Debers as well. Poor guy, he didn't stand a chance, let's be honest. That gas cheek really ruined him. So yeah, during the matches, you can do specific damage to your opponent. From broken jaw, to cut on the eye, to even having an eye swollen shut. Or, you could even break your own hand if you hit the gloves too much. Anyway, there's Ed Eddington. With his uh, amazing record of 1-0. 1-0 at the moment, and I'm going to get Shaw Ming! Punch! Oh, he blocked it! Damn you! He might see he's got- Oh, he's got- he's got some combos going. Ow! Aha! Screw you! Punch you again! Do you like that? I don't think you do! Let's go for some uppercut in! Whee! Uppercut in! Punch! Come on! So this game's controls, not very good. I've got to admit, not very good controls. Which is a shame, really, but never mind, that's the way it is. I mean, it is PlayStation 1, but then again, it looks like it's made in 1983. I mean, Raider Rumble Boxing at least looked better than this, so i got to admit, Raider Rumble Boxing works better there. But it's just create a character, it works quite well. Even though there's not much choice. Alright, oh, he's on the ropes! He's on the ropes! Going for the kill! Oh, and he keeps getting that shot in. Also, when you signature one of your shots, oh, he's down. But he's going to get back up, because that's an easy get back up. Um, but yeah, pretty much... Oh, he's backing away into a corner. Does he really want to do that? My uppercut in skills. Whee! Uppercut in. To the face. I will keep up... Oh! He's down again! Two down! Oh, he's getting back up. Nice, okay. All right. So yeah, this game, not very well made, to be honest. Not well made at all. But I thought I'd play it. It's been a while since I played it. Also, if you get a special punch off, then you can't... Then it doesn't matter if you get hit halfway through it. It'll still randomly hit for some reason. Bad programming, slightly. Anyway. So, uh, let's carry on. Then again, it was made by a claim. No surprise. And he's down again! As you can see, third knockdown rule does not occur in this game. I believe Saved by the Bell does, though. Anyway, so, that's the end of the first round, as you can see, on Letterman's card, David Letterman's card. 10 to 8. I threw a lot of bloody punches. There he is. Look at him go. His opponent is quite screwed, really. He's been knocked down three times already. 
He's not going to last much longer, I don't think, unless he gets right back in it. Which he's probably not going to do. Oh, wow. He's actually got me stunned. That's not very nice. Let's get back here. Pretty much, you could put this game down to button mashing. Which is what I usually do in this game. I just button mash. And it works quite well. Oh, oh, look at this. Look, oh, he's down again. Big shot to the face. Getting up, though, so that's his what? Fourth time on the canvas? And every time you get up, you do get a little bit of health. Not much. Oh, he's down again. That was a big hit down. Is he going to stay down this time? No, he's getting up again. The Relentless Shaw Ming. That should be his nickname. The Relentless Shaw Ming. Because he is relentless. He is staying in it. Oh, I blocked his shot. Because I clinched a bit. Clinching is obviously holding your opponent, for people who don't know. And I've got him on the ropes again. Big hit. Oh, he's down again. Third time in the match. And he's Or oh, third time in the round. That's his sixth time. He's been on the canvas. Will he get up from it? The answer is no. He stays down this time. And your winner, 2-0 now. Flawless victory, Ed Dynamo, Ed Eddington. God, he looks jacked. Then again, if you were 280 pounds and 5 foot 9 and you were, you know, and you were jacked like that, I don't think anyone would want to go up against you, to be honest. I wouldn't. Anyway, I believe I'm going to call it a break here. Um, at two, uh, yeah, pretty much at two wins. And hopefully the, uh, hopefully the recording's gone out okay. Hopefully it's good to edit. And I will see you back here for more Let's Play HBO Boxing, where Dynamo Ed is on his way to being a legend. I'll see you then.